Ladies and gentlemen, in front of you is Katelo and Tipu Tipu. Ready? Unachoma. Ready to present a show called Tipu Kizzy show. show. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for coming to watch our show. Thank you so much for coming to be with us here tonight. We're going to have an amazing show. Tumekua tukipata arafa zenu kutoka pale nyubani. Kuna watu wanasema kwa machipkizi bana. Atuelewi hizi vitu ambazo katela wanasema wengini wetu. Lakini bado nimekuamu kwa hiyo story ya nini? Hiyo story ya high school. Hizo ma music festival. Hizo ma acting. Nimeendo. Nimekuja. Nimesema. Dulikuwa tuna exaggerate. Lazima. Hata sujuzi na tusajiangaje kwa maisha. Chini ya dereja. Moja. Moja. Tisa. Ja. Na. Ulejo. Mulekwa muna piga rehearsal. Mukitoka hivi break muenda rehearsal. Mukitoka lunch muenda rehearsal. Rehearsal zilikuwa unazipiga. Yani unajipata hadi ukiwa peke yako unazirehearsal. Ndiyo uzimisi kuenda funky. Zasa umeriaza hadi na kuingia sasa in real life. Menda funky msha before mbanye poem. Unapata anadem. Unajipata hivi kutoka. Sasa musupa. Katolo liko nakatia madem hivyo. Sasa musupa. Night, mbogi, yaki monyoski. But let me tell you something. It's through such things. Ukiangalia katelo vizuri anakaa mutu ambaya meakti drama sana. Na unawana mali mekusaidia mekuleta bro. Na ukona sponsor. Uu mutu kuna mutu kama kuna tafadhali. Whoever is sponsoring katelo tafadhali. Tuna kuwanga pamoja please. Tafadhali. Tuko pamoja. Tuna kuwanga pamoja. Muzini zao. Tafadhali please. Lakini yada inasimeka nanga. Inasimeka nanga. Okay siku kutusi. Usi take personal. Hmm. Kuna kuna mwenga ali sema ngata uto yenguruwe kwa mtaro. Itarudi tu. Bona wana club? Is it a... Bona wana club? Eh, ujo kaukamba tu fulani kana jino kaza. Buda umesaidika, umesaidika umeandambali. Yani isu tia wala mapasta wa mat. Mwenye karibuni sana, kuna watu wamekua kisema kwa mba katelo wawelewi hii kiswaili yake ni gani iso. Nimesema kwa mba katelo leo hata wafanya jokes zake, hata kuwa kiongea na hiyo shengi yake. Mimi na translate na kiswaili hile ya wakenye hile tumezoea. Hama na mna gani? Hivyo bro tuende kazi tafadhani. Ndiyo tulipo bwana. Tuko hapa kwa sababu tuko kazi na tunalipo. Oya, 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 oya. Wewe, 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 wewe. Mimi uneza nita katelo wa mwoneza nita kwa kwa mbogi ni kimonyo skiti la fusa kwa inadiria representing. Aya basi wewe, ee wacha ikae. Wacha ni nuambia wazi. Jana, tulienda coach ball ufafa Jeriko. Tukapatana na mbogi ya Jeriko. Mimi na huyu katelo. Ile kuperembo tumeperembo jana uziku na watu wa Jeri. So jana tulienda coachi game na mudozi. Hapo ufafa Jeri. Tukaka hapo, tumejichocha hapo, watifizi tunakaanga na wadozi. Katelo wako maali hapa kwa hizi picho kwa hizi. Gemi kaisha, wadosi wakatutoka, wakatuwacha na mbogi. Mimi sasa unajua zikuwa na pressure hati, tunafuatana hati na wadosi. Mina juwa nikona katelo. Nisawa director, mina juwa nikona katelo. Mimi kinitegemea man. Iso si maeria zangu. Mwane watu wajeria mjatumanyia puwajia na usiku. Sasa, nikia na kutuwa gari, mabozi wakaniona kama so tatu. Hei wakakamu. Mwane kukamu kwa ndai na juwa katelo watabonga aseme, oya, oya, oya. Sviti la fusako ina di area wapi? Aliperembo hui mbaka alibiwa kese yake yote enye alikuwa nani? Oya nilenda kusema huya ni kazimu wana kidevu. Niliona jiza my friend. Hei kule. Ilikuwa no wama lakini. Indomize tu tutakujia majama. Maze na madekoda. Basa na madekoda man. Sasa ungeka 3 minutes zingine ungepata gare inataya. Zingi enda hivu. Sasa hivu ndo muna ishingi? Ya nguambia. Eh, sivu ndo kuna ishingi. Kuna bizini itangu wa raunda hapo kari ubangi. Kitambo before jengu ya utari nkulikuwa na jamu. So likuwa nakaa kwa jamu kitu. Jamu likuwa nakaa kaa two hours. O ume katu kwa jamu metulia lafu unasikia gari yako wa ina. Ina taa. O kwa jamu? Eh, kwa jamu. Ujo hizi jamu likuwa nashika. Hapo raunda wadu waneza relate hapo kari ubangi. Ilikuwa nga serious hivyo. Eh, hiyo jamu likuwa nashika nanga hapo. Tazi likuwa zinaisi yanga. Nakubuka hiyo jamu Seriously, but now, Katelo, 
Eh, issue ya leo iko na mambo mingi sana nataka ku introduce kwa rafiki zangu. There's a friend of our show. Hmm. Eh, he's called uh, Anthem Boy. He's been coming to the show for a while. Alisema anataka kukuja hapa leo. Uh, he has some complaints na akona rafiki yake. Kwa hiyo mabibi na mabwana wapi makofi kwa bwana Anthem Boy. Aingi hapa. Amesema anakuja na rafiki yake. Amesema anakuja na rafiki yake. Steve Boy. Kuja 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 Nini nini na nini nini imekuleta hapa siku ya leo? Unaweza simama hata. Mimi ni Tony Sambai. Eh the face of Kenya. The only face. The only face. Yeah, the only face that promote peace in Kenya. Eh tumekuja hapa hivi by the way nimekuwa chipukizi by the way nimekuwa nimekuwa nikipigwa simu. Yes. Nimekuwa nikipigwa simu na Elodison. Who are you as I? Who you are you as I? You. Ana kupigi hello disone ana kukol. Ana ni pigi asimu. Wewe wewe. Mimi. Eh. Who many who many as I must do you as I you want to be a traditional method. Una chona na udem. Nani me chona ukweli by the way. Ni ukweli kabisa. Una support vitu hello di alisema. Eh na support kabisa. Okay. Ada kuno dem flana itu anataliteva. Awe wachana na tisi. Awe wachana na tisi. Awe wachana na tisi. Ata ata kukol mazee chipu. Eh. Kuna kuna ude maitwa si Tanasha 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 bibi Adamu Staki staki ongelea swali yake juma wasompasho eh. wanasema mimba ni yangu Okay 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 Na huyu ni nani kana unaye Uni uni utume masaini juzi from utume masaini nge cute boy association <laughs> Alafu na pia bado chairman wetu ni Eddie Butita. Butita eh. Butendo chairman wetu. Okay. That's nice. Butita ndio chairman wa association. Okay. So ni mama kumleta pia bado ni msanii na anaimba hip hop. Okay. He carries Kibera to the rest of the world. Okay. Ni msanii na funza wa Sepo. Yes. Na pia anza Okay, sawa bro. You can you can have a seat. Eh, ana amesema anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Simple Boy. Simple Boy salimia watu bwana na uambie wewe ni nani. Ukiwa kama umetulia tu hapo. Ah, naji majama. Ah, naji majama. Yeah, mimi naitwa Steve Simple Boy. All the way from Kibera. Eh, mimi nafanya hip hop. Yeah. Inspiration. Mm. I'm a VP. Hapo sawa. Eh. Ni rafiki yako. Ah, uh, asante bwana mkiangu sana. Eh. Tumetoka mbali sana. Yes. Eh, tangu tutoni baby. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Unajua mbogi ya Kimonyoski? Inamjua. Ndio huyu hapa. <laughs> ah, vipi bro? Eh, bora sana. Ko fresh. Katelo una kuna mm. kuna swali ama kitu ya kuambia wageni wetu leo? <laughs> Reporter back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> back to the studio. Back to the studio basi inaonekana kwamba Katelo hakuwa na jambo la kutuambia kwa sasa. Wacha tumjaribu tena tuone kama kwamba anaweza kuwa ako na jambo lingine la kusema akiwa kwale kwenye ground ya Cute Boy Association headquarters. Eh bwana Katelo, kama unanisikia tafadhali tungependa kujua kama uko na neno lolote la kusema leo kuhusu the Cute Boy Association. Bwana Katelo kama unaweza kunipata <laughs> Inaonekana kwamba tumeweza kumpoteza. Ah bwana chipukizi naweza kupata vizuri sana nikiwa hapa eh eh hapa eh, eh, Susan eh, katika katika eh, nini huyu manzari haya ya ya, ya cute boys association eh, nimeweza kuwapata hapa eh, kuna watu wanatoa tetesi ya kwamba wanasema kuna watu pia wana, wana, wanasema hii cute boys association ni nzuri lakini kuna wale pia wanaweza ku, kutoa tetesi ya kwamba eh, hao watu pia wanaweza ku, kutumika kama eh, face of Kenya wachoro kwenye pesa ya Kenya badala eh, ya kuwekwa pale jengo la KCC waweke hapo utafanya tuzimiwe signal wewe <laughs> But uh, uja ba, uliko unasema pia kuna watu wana kutext sana? Eh, kuna watu wana kutext sana sana sana. Eh. Kama Vera, Vera Sidika. Mm. Kuna, kuna barua hali nitumia. Vera Sidika mwaka wandikia barua zaza. Hali nitumia nga barua. Eh. Niki kumbuka mziru barua yiku wasema. Hi the most handsome man. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, ngoja kwanza. Ngoja kwanza. Ngoja kwanza. Wacha nikwambie. Mimi sitaki ukuje kusema propaganda hapa za vitu hazijawahi fanyika. Chipukizi mjua wewe sura. <laughs> sura ukupewa. Wenye alipewa sura wacha ongea. <laughs> Wewe alibarikiwa na sura wacha ongee. Okay sawa wenye sura basi ongeeni. Vera Sidika akafanya nini? Acha nikwambia nini kwa barua. I the most handsome man. Mm. We love you. Mm. I love you because of your you have the soft voice. Na yeye ni kiangalia yeye kweli mimi ni mzito. Yeye ni poa sana. Simbobo eh tuguzie tuguzie. Tuguzie kidogo ngoma ambazo unafanya. Ah, uh, moja inaitwa miadarati. Mm. So nitawapatia tu kiasi mm. ili msikie message ambayo nawapea na wapatia. Ah, uh, inaenda. Vijana tuache miadarati. Nasema tuache miadarati. Vi, vijana tuache miadarati. Nasema tuache miadarati. Vijana tuache miadarati. Nasema tuache miadarati. Vi, vijana tuache miadarati. Nasema tuache miadarati. Unapata vijana wameketiketi tu wanavuta miadarati. Hawajali wanapoteza wakati. Hawana habari ukivuta miadarati inaribu akili inaribu paka mwili wametuli tuli tuli wamebaki jobless kushoto na kulia maze wanalia hakuna kazi wapate kazi waishi vizuri waishi maisha mazuri mambo ile kwa yani ile safi bila wasiwasi aya nataka muimbe na mimi chorus vijana tuache miadarati ati vijana tuache miadarati she wanakuja huku Ingo mayako ina sound kama shairi by the way. <laughs> wow. First of all that's a very good song. Wapi makofi yake tafalale? That's a beautiful song. So ah uh, wow. Ume uliimba wow. So you decided wewe hautaimba juu ya mbogi, utaimba juu ya miadarati. Yeah, juu so far vijana wengi sana wamefariki mm. eh, kusana na madawa za kulevya. Mm. So mtaka mimi ni amua ni kuwa ambassador. Mm adipia ni funde vijana huko nje. So ni kitu unafanyanga si ati ni jokes. Si jokes. Eh. eh. So hii ngoma umeimba iko YouTube. Iko YouTube. Na uko uko Kibera ni kuna program unafanya ya drugs. Ah uh, drugs iko. Mm. Eh tuna tuna niko organization inaitwa Kika. Mm. Na tunafanya nao kazi. So ufanya nini kwa mta? Kwa mta? Mm. Mi, mi msani. Mm. So huu tumia hiyo sani yako tu. Yeah, kufunza jamii. Kibera. Yeah. So how do agent wana nataka uniambie wewe uita mkutano wewe nda kwa mabaa wewe ufanyaje hiyo job wewe enda tu naimba hiyo ngoma ama uko na ngoma zingine eh uh, si hii hii ni moja kati ya ngoma niko nazo yeah. so far ngoma niko nayo ni niko nazo ni iko 13 13 yeah na zote ni za kusensitize na drugs ah uh, zote si zote yeah. kuna zingine pesa ongea uh, mambo ya ndoa uko nini uko na za ndoa yeah okay eh uh. Eh uh, but before to twimbe yo mbe ando ninge niko interested it's funny by the honestly it's an interesting thing because babu um say ajalipo na mtu ana anafanya project zake za drugs ami mangoma ya miadarati as in nipo mpigeni makofi bwana so kama kuna vitu unafanya sasa anza mboe na unikumbushe nitakuja kibera probably next week nakuja nikuje tufanye hizo vitu unafanya Sipia zini yeah. na huyu nakuja na katelo. Sipia zini wasanii. Yeah. Okay, mba vijana tuache miadarati. Yeah. Yeye anasema, "Oya, oya, oya, mimi nasema itakuwaje?" Eh, yeah. so hata nimekutafuta siku mingi sana. Eh. Yeah. Ile tu. Naambiwa mteja wa nambari ulipiga kwa siku hii. <laughs> Ameingia mitini. Yeah. Pole sana. Pole sana. Pole sana yeah. tu lakini umenipata. Eh, yeah. so it's very good. Yes. Eh, yeah. I hope tutawa tu tu no, no, pamoja. No, no. That one will do it. Yeah. Mimi nimefurahi sana. Mm. Imefurahi sana na uendelee hivyo na tutafanya hizo sasa pamoja. Sa. Sasa hivyo vile umenitafuta sasa tutasonga sasa pamoja. Mhm. Mm si ndio? Mm. Eh, kuna wimbo ya love song ukitukimalizia. Tuki, jo, jo hapa utupigie hiyo wimbo moja yako ya love song. Ya yeah, ndoa. Ya yeah, ndoa ya. Yeah. Enda. Anta kuja. Katalo kam, katalo kam tu support mbogi. <laughs> Enda. Yeah. Ati mabibi na mabwana mu eshimu ntowa. Ah, muashi mundo wa wana ume kwa na wake muashi mundo wa. Ah, muashi mundo wa mabibi na mabwana muashi mundo wa. 
So now there's a boy that I met today. Uh, I, I really want, if you're watching my show right now at home, this young boy, you need to listen to his story. He's only, he's very young. And, and if I met with him today and he has he inspired me. And I just want us to listen to him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing a call. Wabi Makofiaki. Arubi Sana. Arubi Sana. Arubi Sana. Arubi Sana. Arubi Sana. Arubi Sana. You can have a seat. Arubi Sana Sana. Niaji bro? Sana Sana. Tumia hii. Sana. Tumia hii. Habari yako bro? Mzuri Sana. First of all, I have to tell you that today you've really inspired me. Thank you. you. Your story inspired me. Thank you. And I really want you to tell everyone your story so that you never know. It can change someone's life. It can change our country's perception on some of the things. Thank you. So introduce yourself and tell people how you found yourself here. So I'll start by my name. I'm called Nelson Akoth. I come from Migori County, uh, Wendo Sub County. That is uh, where I come from. So going to your question, uh, who, uh, how I came to be here today. The main aim that uh, drives me day by day is my background. So I'll start uh, from uh, how I was born and raised up. So my mom uh, used to stay with the dad who was also a teacher in a certain school. That is 20 years ago. So during that period, she used to go to school, the same school had, uh, the dad was teaching. So there's uh, one fateful day when some uh, armed robbers broke into the house, killed the dad, and she was raped. And nearly a year later, I was the product of that situation. So I was a uh, son of a teen mother. So uh, from that incident, it it's, uh, actually gave out uh, the background where I was supposed now to be raised. So I had no father, and mom died just uh, three months after giving birth to me. So mom passed away? Yes. So you are left with no mom and no dad? Yes. And your grandfather? Yeah, the grandfather was killed during the that incident. Okay. The, the father was killed okay. and mom was raped. Okay. So uh, three months after that incident, mm. before I was born, uh, the the guys who took the robbers uh, now. yeah the robbers now mm. they were arrested, but within three months they were mm. released. So after that release, uh, the uh, grand uh, grand grandfather and grand grandmother and the the eldest son, both of them were shocked. And two died immediately, and uh, they, they also they, killed. No, yeah. 
they were just shocked and uh, out of that, they died. yeah, they died. The two of them, they died at Ago, and the other one died uh, about a week later. Okay. So uh, the only person that remained on that family was uh, now grandmother. Okay. Who was uh, the second wife. Okay, to the, okay. Yes. So uh, when, uh, when my mom also died, it is viewed that, uh, from my community, it is viewed that it's better if you are a teen mother, if you give birth to a lady, that is a girl. A but if you give uh, birth to a boy, mm. you, are, you, you become sort of an enemy to that your family, including your mother, your brothers, and all that. That's now the Luo culture? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it reached a point mm. when uh, my mother was now is supposed to be buried. Mm. And all the the, uh, the community surrounding and the village elders and all that mm. refused ma that my mother my mother will not be buried uh, at home. Mm. So they had to look for somewhere else, mm. which they wanted my mother to be to be uh, buried. Mm. So th those guys also wanted a prize for that piece of land, mm. but on the other side there was no such uh, money. Because mm. uh, the family was already swept and the breadwinner was okay. no more. Okay. But, but, but now, uh, because I know your story is long and, and I've listened to it the whole day. I just want you to fast track Kidogo. Uh, tell them between now, when, when after all the Rangos, you know, they've tried to, to kill everyone in your family. And they've tried to even kill you. Uh, you were shot in the leg. Yes. And then what, how, what, ex tell us about that. So when I was now given exchange for that burial uh, land, I had to stay there with them. But with them also, there were, have been wrangles in the past. So the wrangles led to killing of the only son of that family, of which now I was going to be the only son again. So my presence there also uh, made the other so threats. So when you inherit the threat and I eliminate you? Yes. Okay. So my presence there also inflicted in uh, these guys who wanted the, the same land to start fighting me at that early age. And how old were you? Is it three? Three years yes. old. One of yes. the were three years old, imagine. Waka kupiga mshale? Yeah, so they, uh, it was sort of uh, that, but it's, it was made uh, uh, with a... Uh, Poison? Yeah, sort of, because that piercing passed from here to the other end. Mm. So even the sky is still there, both of them are there. Uli dungwa hapa mbaka hapa? Yeah, you can even check. Uh, you can see. This one? Yes. <coughs> Uli pigwa mshale, ukiwa three years old? Yes. So you can now see. your relatives? Yeah. Wow. Now, first of all, we need to establish something. How old are you? Now I'm 20. You're 20 now? Yes. You're in high school? Yama I did left. my form for in 2016. Oh, you finished? Okay. Yes, yes. In your 20. Now, yes. okay. So after after this one, tell us what happened after now. So after this one, I <coughs> decided to run away from that place. Okay. So I, I tried as... Old. How do you even think about running, honestly? It huh? was just God, God, God's plan that I had not to stay there any longer. So that you ran? I just ran and uh, the first uh, uh, night I slept in a church, a uh, certain Catholic church. Mm. And then the following day, I made my way to my mom's uncle's place. Mm. was not that far from there. Mm. So they ferried me from there to mom's uh, home now. Mm. So while there, mm. I was taken to hospital and I was treated and I went back mm. to Shaw's place. The same place you were chased? No. The same uh, place? Now, from my, uh, my mother's uh, home. Okay. Yeah. So when I went there after coming from hospital, mm. I stayed and started schooling up to uh, class five. Mm. And then reaching class five, mm. I also developed some sort of uh, health uh, uh, issues. Mm. The body starts, started swelling from toes to all, all the... Kuvimba. Yeah, Ilianza to Kuvimba. Mm. And then she took me to hospital. Mm. So while there, I was, uh, the, the doctors did so many tests, so many of them, but all of them turned uh, negative. Mm. But there was only one that turned uh, positive, that gave them the results. 
mm. that I was HIV positive. So uh, when I was given the drugs, they told me, you realize that you are, uh, you are having this problem and you are in pain. So the best thing that you do, stick to your medication. Take these pills the oh, way no. you are told. So you're in class five? Yes. And umeanza umeanda hospitali umeambiwa uko na ukimwi yes at that age do you even know what is ukimwi i never knew about it so even what madaktari wakwambia hata uelewi si kwa naelewa the only thing i uh, they told me is that i keep on uh, taking the the drugs okay because also uh, even me i wanted to uh, that pain to, to end. Yeah. yeah so they told me just take this one the pain will go and the swelling will also will also end so I really uh, made efforts not to, never to miss the, the same. So after a period, uh, the swelling continued and I could not walk, I could not do anything. Mm. So I, I was just there. Mm. So you come, uh, anybody can come and assist. If any case there's nobody, I'll, you will go and even return in two days and just find me where you, you left me. Mm. So after that, it reached um, a point where I was taken to this, um, uh, they are called, they are just medi medicine men. Okay. So when I was taken to one of them, they uh, tried all their best, uh, giving some piercing, some skin. That's how you come out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so from there, there was no any change, mm. just an increase on okay. the pain and all that. Okay. So I was taken back to uh, home. From there, I stayed uh, about three, three, three years. Mm. The pain was still there, but now it had reduced because I was now used to it. Okay. So I made, uh, within that time, I wanted to go back to school because my man was always in school, okay. going to school almost every time. Mm. But because of the pains, mm. I usually, uh, after going back to school, I made... Uh, some steps mm. that I could only go to school in the morning, mm. and then after lunch, mm. I'll come now tomorrow. Okay. So I come in the morning, the first lessons, then I go home till tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow also I do the same, mm. then I'll rest one day. So in a, a, in a week, mm. I may go for, uh, you can add it to three days mm. at most, because I could not uh, go walk through uh, home to school and back. Yeah. So when now we are gonna take a short break. We're gonna take a short break. Uh, when we come back, uh, he has a very inspiring story. He will be telling us about how many times that he has tried to commit suicide without it working, uh, more than three times. He will be telling us about now, uh, you know, how he completed school and what he decided now to do. He's gone back now to the society. He's an amazing kid. You have no idea. So we're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back after the break. Yes, we are back. We are back. We are back with my with my brother. Katalo Sam. Eh, mi nimekuwa nimekuwa sad words. Story, story, ni ni story inspiring sana. So, this story is only really long. Uh, um, say after you go through all that, you know, your mother, your mother, your your grandfather is killed. Your mother is raped. Uh, we were born. Uh, your mother dies. Uh, you, you are left with family that wants to kill you. You are young. You are three years old, um, and 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 you know you you discover that you have HIV AIDS. You don't even know what is HIV AIDS. Uh, you have to treat HIV AIDS and go to school. And later on, you will discover what HIV AIDS is. Later on, you will discover that you can't even so many other things. And. After doing, you've tried killing yourself. This guy has tried killing himself. Uh, you told me three times. Yeah. Three okay. times. He's tried committing suicide three times. But then again now, after going all through that, this young boy, this young man you see here, is doing an, an amazing thing. Tell them what you're doing now. So currently, I'm a youth uh, advocate. And what I major on is uh, campaigning against teen pregnancy. So I, uh, I started an initiative called ACT Now that is addressing concerns of teenage pregnancy. So because many people focus on the mother, but the kids also goes through a lot. That is also what I wanted uh, 
uh, the governments, uh, those who are working on policies, to also highlight the challenges that the kids are Go also to. exposed to. Yes. Because, uh, for example, in Kilifi uh, last year they had over 14,000 teenage pregnancy cases. Now, if that one was teenage pregnancy, who talks about the kids? So the number equals. Yeah. Or you can find even uh, 5,000 of them were now born twin. So, meaning that the number of high. the kids will also go and higher than true. compared that's to. That's very true. So, it is another generation that uh, if uh, all the stakeholders working on ensuring young people live in a healthy environment fails to consider, then that generation will turn uh, the country uh, image down. Okay. Yeah, so amongst the things I do is uh, budget advocacy. So budget advocacy, mo most of the things I do is uh, attracting the, the, the focus of the county governments and also at the national level to focus on promotional health, health services. You need to have more focus on promotional health services compared to curative because you can easily prevent so that uh, the much you can use in, in curing is used in uh, at least preventing not reaching that at that point. Mm. The other thing I do is um, the initiative works uh, with the schools. So what we do is organizing debates because uh, so many people have different stories. But a story <coughs> can inspire somebody to live, uh, uh, to, to, to quit a certain behavior. Because mm. I also believe if I was to have that much time to tell you the whole of the story, maybe one or two of you would have stopped one or two but we already uh, negative. Feel like what you've already told us is already it's a lot but that Aba, one is Aba? that one is about 30% it's about 30% but it's very impactful don't feel like you're telling us a small story bro your story is very inspiring yeah so but we hear you though so the other thing i do is uh, all, uh, i've not also left behind the teen mothers okay. i also work together with them because they 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 are they are bring um, uh, the, the children. Mm. So if they are also left out, then the conversation is not giving uh, a, a good a good uh, result. Yeah. So both of them are supposed to be the, on the table and discuss all the issues that are affecting uh, affecting both. Mm. Yes. Let's appreciate this young boy. <laughs> and, 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 and bro, looking forward, what what do you want to achieve? Like. What's your dream and goal? What do you want to see? Like, because cause I've heard, you know, you've said teen pregnancy. You said you go to high school. You've said you are a young advocate. You advocate for young people. Yeah. What, what's your bigger goal? What do you want to see for our generation? Uh, majorly what I want to see is a generation where no child is born out of wedlock. And if any case that happens, the life is sustained in an environment that... Uh, fulfills the future of uh, any young person, whether you are uh, male or female. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really going to say this. It, it's high time that as Kenyans, we started being serious about our country. And I will tell you why. We, this young man reminds me of who I am, you know, from nothing to something. He's gone through so much, yet he's doing so much. And nobody knows him. And nobody knows his story. And let me shock you. The amount of young boys and girls who have the same capability, listen to him, he's only 20. He's talking about policy and advocacy. And so as a country, honestly, we need to stop, you know, kipindi. For the longest time, we've been kipindi. You know, who do you want to represent the Ministry of Health or doing something with the people who are making those policies? This young boy, given a platform, this boy has learned how to create. Listen to him. After going through so much. So it's high time to answer. Come and interview what you want to What you want to interviews and what you want to Come and who you. Kusema kweli. And also, Nikim Skiza. These things that he knows, you've taught yourself. Yes. You've done your research. You've learned how to live with them. Yes. We, we, we need to revisit our curriculum. And, and honestly... You know, like these things that he's doing, teen pregnancy. It's high time that we start having our conversation, this uncomfortable conversation in our sitting rooms about drugs and about sex. 
It's, it's high time, by the way. Otherwise, we will have a generation that has no direction. I mean, if him, he could go through that at his age, how many are going through the same, whether willingly or unwillingly? Because of time, we, we, we are going to, to let him go. But thank you so much, bro, for coming. I really celebrate you. Today, you inspired me. And, and, I'm, and I'm looking forward, and, and I'm sure that you're going to be an amazing person in this country. Thank you. And you will achieve your dreams. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more time, let's appreciate it. But Manzejo, ni high time Manzejo to anze kukuwa serious, man. Wasa wanashinda kusema gava ndi uembia watu juu ya teen pregnancy, juu ya drugs. Ni sisi kwa nyumba sahi, kama unani watch sahi na watu yuwako. Our kids know so much. Our kids, your kid is smarter than you. But anyway, I don't want to be emotional. So, uh, I want to introduce um, a guest artist. She's not from here. She's from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Uyu manadara na kuambia na sauchi. Ah, katelu. Ngebeta ni kuwambe mkaribishe luludiva hapa kwenye hili, hili, hili shoretu. <coughs> Aya basi kwa, kwa, kwa mcheteto na, na, na mgubiko. Tuweze kumkaribisha dada yetu luludiva. <coughs> Wacha imbe bila hata kamera nyumbani ndio hii hapa. Salimia watu nyumbani kidogo kwanza. Mambo vipi Mifaikuwaona <laughs> 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 Kwa sababu na mina ye ni tunafamiana, mm. mini kutoka Tanzania ye yuko hapa, mm. many times na kuwa na mtumia kumuomba nisaidie baadhi ya vitu vyangu katika kazi ya. Na advice nini nini? Ya, yeah, vitu kama hivyo. Rafiki yangu sana ule? Eh, hey, sawa, hata mimi. Ah, si kama mimi. <laughs> <laughs> si kama mimi mwana. But by the way guys, let me tell you something. I, I feel like Jagwa is the most uncelebrated mentor we have in our country by the way. Pigeni Jagwa makofi nda wabia kwa mimi. Jagwa, Jagwa, Jagwa has mentored so, and she can tell you, because I can relate to what she said, Jagwa has mentored so many artists. Kwanzi ya Mimi, Mimi urafiki yangu na Jagwa, watu wanaonanga wakize mani ya tini meanza kutambea na Jagwa hapa juzi. Jagwa alikuwa ananitavuta ni kimaliza chocha chilisho ananiambia, ni ujigangani yo zaza unafanya zaza wewe? Anani advice, Willy Paul, uh, Garden Angel, hata Eriko Mondi anampigia ngazimu kila siku. Kaza hizo ni nini unafanya turukana wewe, anakuanga hivo, anakugaidi. Na na, we need to celebrate. Mweshmiwa, kazi safi mazi. Na asema angi, so tutamusemea, sindio? Now, Diva, um, Tanzania kule kuna mambo, kabla tuingie kule unamziki mpya. Yes, for real, saizi nangu mangu inaitua mapopo. Yeah. Uh, ni memshirikisha wanamziki kutoka TZ, anaitua country boy. Yeah. Uh, Kwa ni kaona ni ngoma mbo inafanya vizuri bongo. Okay. Lakini pia napenda sana. Kenya. Okay. Yani naweza nikasema Kenya ni kama nyumbani kwetu sehemu ya pili. By the way natamani sana niolewe na Mkenya. Eh. Aya. Aya. Aya bas. Aya bas. Aya bas. Aya mtulie. Naomba mtulie. Sasa napenda niseme hivi. Kwamba Luludiva umekuja siku nzuri. Anake wacha nikueleze kwa nini. Hapa kwenye show leo Tuko na Ensem Boy na Simple Boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wacha, wacha uone tu niambie kama unaweza. Kwa sababu kama umoja ndiyo face of Kenya. Huu unaita hapa anatu represent sisi wana umewote. Ah, okay. Kwa na Ensem Boy njoni tu muonekane. <laughs> Salamu tu mkipita. Salamu tu mkipita. Ukipita tu bro. Nashukuru. Nashukuru. Ndawambia. Ndawambia kama audition mekia. 
Wow. wow. You're my handsome. I know. I know. I know. I know. How we are moja wow. Yeah, and your chairman wa cute boy association Kenya. <laughs> na bali na hayo, ali kuja yeye mwenye wa kasema kwa mba Raiz Kenyatta. Ali mfanya kakua face of Kenya. Huyo hapa. Eh. Wona japa? Shindo kuema. Ah, basi wachana tu wachana na hao basi. Kuna mengine anaitua Rington, kama mini, Apoko. Apoko. Apoko, Apoko, pia ya nabeba bango. Di elafiki yangu pia. Rington. Eh, lakini ni mtu wa Yesu. Rington na menembevi. Um, mashalti ambao anataka ya mke ni mpaka akubali kuzaa tuto saba. Na mi siko tayali jamani kuzaa tuto saba. <laughs> I'm not ready. We iki pindi ya rington ya kutafuta watoto. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, kwa hivyo umesema ungependa kuolewa na mkenya. Yeah. Ah, nice, that's nice. Now, um, your, your song, utuonjeshe tu kidogo. Hii zungoma yako mpia. Ukiwa tu wapo umekatu, wakapela tu kidogo tu. Okay. Um ipi sasa mapopo au ona? Impia, impia. Ah, okay. Ngine kazi mbatu pole pole. <laughs> Openzi la kochombes. Ongeza. Utamuni sikie. Eh, eh, eh. Tunapendana minawe. Vizo bizo bina tuwa. Mapenze kichina para nawe. Mwenza kumi sina kolon. Halo, halo, sina kwaru, kwaru. Bad girl, bisi, yo, sharo, sharo. Hey! Hey! Wimbo, 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 wimbo huo mpia. Wake luludiva unaweza uka upata kwenye YouTube. Ama kwenye maali popote ambapo huko kwenye Instagram, kwenye Facebook. Wambia hawa watu maali pengine ambapo huo wimbo hupo. Yani, wimbo ama popo unapatikana kwenye all platforms. All yani, platforms. Yes, za mziki. Ukienda kwenye audio mark, ukienda kwenye iTunes, ukienda kwenye YouTube, um, ukienda kwenye... Lakini pia ni mekuraisishia, ukitaka kuyangalia video, ukienda kwenye Instagram yangu pale juu. Kuna link. Kuna link. Unaibonyeza moja kwa moja na kupeleka kwenye YouTube channel yangu. Lakini pia kwenye Instagram natumia Luludiva Tiza na kwenye YouTube natumia Luludiva. Akikisho naangalia kazi yangu, hopu utakuwa shabiki yangu. Different Kwa hizo mama mshogi mimi ndi onakuanga hapa unezani kati. Guys, nisaidieni. Mwamia mamba ya mangoko? Eza, sisi, siu kwa tumetambua mangoko mbae sana. Uwezi kwa za tukipata na nini na mangoko malaiti ya ni sisi u kwa. Mangoko ni wanawake. But uh, uh, ukona nyimbo zingine ambazo tumezisikia kwa mda mrefu, tunazijua. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unaweza tu pia ukatuonjesha kidogo manake. Sisi ni mafen wako. Moja tu. Okay. Mm. Ona sasa ona. Ona sasa ona. Ona sasa ona. Aso baby simamia. Kidede. Nana naijua yu? <laughs> Kweli? Oh, yeah. Donajua kuimba? Bado. Hata kwa sauti yako. Ah ni mafisi hawa, usijaribu kuwasikia hawa. Kama kitu ambacho wanasikia. Mimi nimesikia neno mafisi sana. Maana ni nini huku? Mafisi huku mwambie. Wacha kueleze huyu. Wacha kueleze. Kwa majina zingine wanaitangwa Kevu na Brayo. Wanakuanga they are any watu wenye wana nini? Wanapenda tu nyama poa like Wani ni 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 wanaume. Ni ni some ni type Oh, ni wanaume ndo wanapenda wanawake. Yaani ni kategori wanaume. Wanapenda wanawake sana. They are brothers and sisters and uh, I mean they are hata wanawake wengine ni mafisi sana. Ah, okay. Mafisi sana. Kuna hadi wanawake mafisi sana. Sana sana. Exactly. Weka microphone karibu. Sasa so, ningependa kidogo. Uh-huh. Industry ya Kenya na ya Tanzania ni tofauti sana. Yes. Yeah. Kidogo sisi Kenya hizo enzi za kitambo yeah. eh, jagwa na nyuma ukirudi mm. tulikuwa wakubwa sana East Africa. Yeah. Hata Afrika. Yeah. Tulikuwa tunashinda matuzo, tulikuwa jagwa anakuja Tanzania anapiga mashoo, anaenda Rwanda, anaenda Uganda. Yeah. Eh, sasa hivi kumekuwa na conversation about how you know your industry is growing versus ours. Wao mm. ukiangalia kwa mfano. Mm. Unaweza ukasema maoni yako ni gani? 
I think um squeeze kumekuwa na watu wengi wenye mwamko nikisema mwamko na maanisha kwamba watu wengi wenye jitihada yani saa hizi so ile game ya kusubiri kila kitu ufanyiwe mm. au vitu vinakuja sasa hivi inabidi uhangaike ili uweze kupata connections uweze kuuza mziki wako um, kuna hata mziki wa Kenya unapigwa sana saa hizi Tanzania mm, kama gani um, kama utile brown ah otile otile anapigwa yes yeah, south so nyanshiski Okay. Wanapigwa sana Tanzania. Na hata na, na nikiwa hapa naona nyimbo zetu za wabongo zinapigwa. Ni kwa sababu gani wanafanya jitihada na juhudi? Sababu kama unapenda kazi yako lazima utataka kuiuza na kuisambaza okay. ili uweze kuwafikia wateja wako. Kwa hiyo mziki tunaofanya kama biashara. Mziki sasa hivi umebadilika kutoka kufanya as kupenda na kubadilisha kuwa biashara. Ndio maana unaona watu wana invest kwenye video, mm. wana invest kwenye promotion, wana invest in everything kwa sababu wanajua itawalipa. Na inawalipa vipi? Inawalipa kwenye shows, inawalipa inavuatanga kaza kuapa indoors tofauti tofauti mm. kwa ni kama hivyo kwa na maana mimi niweza kutoka tiza nimekuja Kenya kwa zinahitaji pia mziki wangu uweze kufahamika mm. Kenya zaidi mm. na kwa sababu mziki lazima ukuwe uende East Africa uende West hivi tu kama hivyo kwa hiyo na tama, mzi, uh, soko la bongo na soko la Kenya okay. linazidi kukua kutokana kwamba kila tunafanya game inakuwa ni ya ushindani which is mm. very good so yes. vibaya kufanya ushindani mm. na ndio maana hata mimi nikiona gele alikiba and diamond wana fight mm. i think how fight in personal ways wana fight kwenye masuala ya kibiashara which is very good Wame bado unaipenda napenda eh uh, nani unampenda diamond ama alikiba nani wako ah uh, mimi wote ninawakubali wote unawakubali yes sir ah uh, misamo beto tanasha gani upande gani Uh, au si wafuatiliagi kama nani zao lakini wote ni wasichana wa rembo wote ni wasichana wa rembo yeah. ah basi kuna wile nani mwingine na nani basi kuna kuna vijana wetu ambao wapo hapa sijui kama kule mnawatambua mm. tunawaita mbogi ni ya Kimonyoski kuna mmoja wanaitwa Ethic kuna wengine wanaitwa Bundox Gang kuna wengine wanaitwa Wamlambez <laughs> Wamnyonyez Wamlambez Wamnyonyez unasikia wanaoma sana <laughs> wakafikiwa na vitu za kayole inaonekana bado hazijatamba mimi nimefurahia sana lulu sana kwa kuja kwako. Well, you, Mimi nataka nikuambie kwamba wewe gumuyu kuna wewe. Oh, kwa wewe kukuwa hapo inaonyesha kwamba already umejituma. Yeah. Na yeah. muziki wako umetuambia uko all platforms. Yes. Jina ni Lulu Diva. Yeah. Na we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. nyumbani uki decide mwenye unataka kuoa hapa Kenya sisi tupo. Ama namna gani mwa ndugu zangu? Mafisi eh? Sisi tupo hapo. Tumebakia na dakika moja na hawa rafiki zangu tutaishi tu hivi nao lakini ni sawa. Ningependa waje hapa wako na ngoma mpya walikuwa hapa last week. Tukachoma tu hivi vile tunachoma. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's appreciate uh, our brothers Spizo. Mbo. Baby ni shikili I don't wanna let you go. Mimi ni mani mo, mimi ni mani mo. Wacha ni ngangani I don't wanna let you go. Sing tapa, tapa. Tulia na mimi just give me some good love tapa tapa yeah Tulia na mimi just Pulo ara fikiza ngo tuwapigie ni makofi hivi jamani Nani anajua ile ngoma yao moto sana kali sana Ipige tu kama unaijua unaichapa ukiwa hapo Eh Kukusha watu Nikidege juu kama pilot Eh Anjini sishuki tena Pulo Hapa mkizangu tutakuja nao tena next week Monday tutakuwa hapa nao hapa hapa. E, lazima hii interview ifanyike ndugu zangu. Lakini ukitaka hiyo ngoma yao mpya iko kwenye YouTube inaitwaje? Inaitwa Tapa Production of Fana Cash Kid Compact Record Big Up on Yourself Bugu Bugu Gabu on this one. Yeah yeah. Video directed by Trey. Trey Jules. Under Fast Cash Management. Kama kei kama kawa.